I am the Dollar Sportsman. Thank you for watching today. Now, today we are going to talk about something that is going to just shatter all of your expectations about brake barrel air guns. This is a Gamo Raptor Whisper. This is the first air gun that I ever owned, right? This thing, I have been hunting with it several times on my earlier videos. You've seen me hunt with it. It's a great little air gun. It's accurate. It's awesome. But uh, suppose that I should do this. Oh no. Oh no. I dry fired it. I dry fired it. Guys, ammo air guns can be dry fired. And just to prove that to you, I have got my chronograph set up. I've got a target at 20 yards set up. I'm going to take five shots to see how accurate it's doing off the bat after I get it sighted in. And then I'm going to dry fire it a whole bunch of times, a whole bunch of times, and then see if it can still do the same thing. Keep watching, let's shatter some expectations today. Now I've got all sorts of different gamo pellets here. A special thank you to G-Man Neo, one of my viewers, for sending me all of these packs of pellets. I have enough Gamo pellets here to last at least two weeks. <laughs> I'm just kidding, it's gonna last a long time. We've got the PBA Platinums, the Rockets, which I've used extensively, the PBA Raptors, the PBA Armor Piercing, that is awesome. Oh, and then the same thing right here, all over again. And then all of these Master Point Energy, TS-22s, Hunter Impact, and Magnum Energy. Now, I'm not gonna use all of these today, I just need a few, but I just wanted to point out, G-Man, thank you so much for sending these to me. It was, it was fantastic. You didn't need to do that, but you did, and I love it, and thank you so much. All right, we've got this about sighted in. We are at 20 yards. We're gonna aim for the uh, bottom target to start off with. Let me get the phone scope started. Except the phone scope app totally deleted all of my coverage. That sucks. Here we go, all right. I'm using the Gamma Rockets for this one just because that's what I usually use to hunt and they're lead pellets, which is what most people are using. So you can track for yourself and see how it looks. All right, bottom target, here we go. First shot, nice and accurate. Second shot, rolling. Chronograph is going. 670. Hold that one, 663. Wow, 676. That's an amazing group, 675. Let's do a couple more just for fun. Other than the one that I obviously pulled, this is incredibly accurate. This is hunting accurate, Gamo Raptor Whisper. 657. Amazing, 676. So here's our first group before we did anything with dry fire. Right, all of these right here. Obviously I pulled two of them, but it was very accurate. As a little side note, when I was sighting in the first time, this was the group that I got. That is amazing. You can see the accuracy on this. Now, let's get to the real fun, shall we? Demo designed their rifles so that they can be dry fired without any issue. Now the Gamma website says that it can be dry fired, but it is not recommended. So do this at your own discretion, but the whole idea is that if you had a random dry fire that uh, you're worried about, don't worry about it. Your Gamma Raptor Whisper or any other Gamma brake barrel gun is going to be just fine. Now, are there exceptions to that rule? Yes, but it is the rule. They do 10,000 testing on all of their batches. 10,000 dry fires through these rifles. So, let's try it. Five, do you smell burning? 10, 10 guys, 10. But that's not nearly enough.
20, 20 dry fires through this thing. Ready for some more? dry fires. Fifty, fifty air gun dry fires, guys. Fifty. Okay, guys, we have dry fired this fifty times, and the only uh, problem that I've had so far is the fact that the scope is not tight enough. It's been moving all over the place. So, it's a cheap gamma scope. I mean, uh, it's not even the 3x9, it's the basic one that comes with this model, so that can be upgraded. Or I just need to tighten these screws down, one or the other. Now, I've got my chronograph set up, it's still at 20 yards. I'm gonna take a shot now that I've found where the pellets are hitting. I've sighted in again, let's shoot for that middle. Phone scope started. Let's see how we do, okay? And here we go. There we go. 682. <laughs> oh, Gammo, your engineering rocks. 667. Amazing. 681. Hole over hole. 683. If anything, we've gained velocity here, guys after 50 dry fires, 50. Yeah, I bounced that just a bit, little bit, 672. I just want you guys to see this right here. This is why we're having trouble with the scope because it has moved all the way back because of all the dry firing. I just need to tighten it up. That is the only problem, the only problem that we've had with this. Here's the group after we dry fired. And after the scope moved a little bit because of the dry fire, you can obviously see two in one hole. That is all just about, oh, I don't know, an inch to two inches. And the scope was still moving back. That is extremely accurate minus the scope issues. You can obviously see that there were no issues whatsoever in the fire. Notice that, you notice the little red mark? I don't know if you can see it or not, but that's from the scope moving so far back that I had no more eye relief. And so I kept getting hit by the scope the phone scope right here when I shot. Eh, the sacrifices we make for uh, science and engineering. 50 dry fires. Do you need more evidence? Because, you know, I could give you more evidence. I could dry fire this 50 more times if you want. Did I hear yes? Mm. I am the Dollar Sportsman, guys. I have shown you today at the risk of my own Gamo Raptor Whisper that you can dry fire a Gamo air gun. I would have done it 50 more times if I had had my tools and could have adjusted my scope. I just forgot my tools today. That's all. Other than that, the only issue, the only issue we had was the scope moving right off the gun. That's it. The gun is still firing just as fast with extreme accuracy. Now granted, the scope obviously is messing with that a little bit, but you could see we had a hole over hole shot. We had amazing accuracy with this thing. It is a beast. It is a tank gamo engineering. 10,000 dry fires, guys. 10,000 dry fires, you can't beat it. Thank you so much for watching. I'm so glad you guys watched this today. Now go and tell all your friends that gamo brake barrels aren't going to explode if you dry fire them. Now, maybe you know someone who says that they did. You know what, that's fine, but it is the exception. Now, go have some fun. Get out there, happy new year, have an amazing year, Go get some air guns. Have fun with air guns. It's fantastic. I love it, and I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next year. That's pretty comfortable. Let's give it a shot. Or two or 60. We're in buck territory. I'm the dollar sportsman. Yes, I'm the dollar sportsman. I'm the dollar sportsman. Having fun out here. I just enjoy all of this. Because after watching these videos, I hope you do. Yeah, buddy.